Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining on what is a spectacular piece of history today and whew, a memory maker. Listen, when you think about trucks like this, they were like we had certain friends in high school that had field parties and what have you and had a cool truck like that or a grandfather had a truck like that. Uh, maybe you had one back in the day and life has changed a little bit now. Uh, you know, you had a place where you could finally get something, and this is exactly the way you'd want to get it. Why is that that way? Well, because it gives you this old school look, right? The old school style, like when you're going down the road, how great this looks, right? Second, it gives you modern components inside. We're going to take a look and see what does modern components really mean? Well, what modern components really means is a little more reliability. It doesn't matter whether it's hot or cold outside. It's got fuel injection to start, right? It's got air conditioning with modern air conditioning and modern heat. Lots of other great stuff. Let's take a few minutes, but the first thing we need to do is talk about the ridiculously deep tuxedo black paint. All right, so I'd like to talk about paint for a reason here because what, what you don't understand is probably you and I could paint a vehicle. You say, Tom, I've never painted a vehicle in my life. Well, it's not super complicated in painting. I'm not saying we would be good at it, but we could paint. What we can't do is what goes on underneath the paint, and that's the effort that goes in, especially a black truck. When you have long panels like this, they need to be worked properly. And here's how you'll know that I'm right when I say this. You ever fix a nail hole at home? You went ahead and give a quick little scuff to the, to the stuff you put inside, right? Uh, a little plaster there, scuff, and then you paint, and you come back in about an hour or two, and you can still see the terrible work that you did, right? It's about the effort in. And if you're going to make something like this shine, it's all underneath the metal, okay? This right here, the metal is really, really nice. Not to mention most of the components in here are new. This cowl hood looks so right at home here, right? You couldn't get a 69 pickup with a cowl hood, but they make it for these. Why? This is a real deal steel hood. Why do they make it for these? Because it looks great. All right. Lastly, I talk about quality paint all the time. I want to share with you real quick. You need to be able to see every detail, every letter, every little piece in this painting, uh, paint here. And so that's what I like you to do just to focus on because pictures can make anything look shiny. The video will show us the way. All right, so this is a, an exciting part of the truck. You know, we looked at the outside and it really is spectacular. But right here, right here, this says drivability. If you look at today's modern car, they're the best vehicles ever built. You get in it, you throw the key on, and by the time you put your seatbelt on, the seat heater's already heating up. The fuel injection system is so nice. The aluminum uh, pieces that are in here, this has a serpentine belt system, so you don't have to have 10 different belts running all the accessories. Modern air conditioning here as well. And look at how much room there is to work on stuff. It's just nice. Oh my gosh, this is such a great uh, fit for this truck. It fits perfectly under hood here as well. And then you throw in the overdrive automatic and you can drive for days uh, on the highway at nice highway speeds with plenty of power. Uh, this is the way you want to go. All right, so a lot of detail stuff going on back here. Look at these LED taillights uh, Frenched in inside here. Beautifully done. This tailgate release are, is manufactured like, like this. That's how all that happens, right? Uh, I love this and I'll tell you why, because first off, this is uh, the reason tailgating started, right? This is how it all happened. And then this bed right here is diamond plate. And so you say, well, so that's nice that it's diamond plate, so what? You're absolutely right, so what? But it's detailed stuff like this, stainless steel bolts that are around here. And they say, well, so who cares about stainless steel bolts? What does it matter? It's not just stainless steel bolts, it's the detail that somebody said, when I'm doing this, I'm gonna put the very best of the best parts in here. And that's what they did. So they rhino lined up to here to make it nice and uh, protected. Stainless bolts in there, all new metal and everything in here. This diamond plate's really cool because if you wanted to, right? They gave it a lot of thought, quite honestly, and that's why I, I want to spend a second on it, is they drilled holes in a couple inconspicuous places so that if you got caught in the rain or something like that, the bed wouldn't fill up with water, right? It had a drain hole in it where the factory trucks did not. How many times did you get in your truck back in the day and it had rain and you had to drive out and water went everywhere? Well, they fixed that here by putting a few of those holes in here. And if you wanted to, we could put uh, a wood bed in here just to finish it off, and that would add a whole other touch and a whole other level. Some people like the stealth look of this. Some people might like wood. All right, so come join me in here because this, uh, this really is reminiscent of a different time. Like you think about like riding with your grandfather or hanging out with some friends in a truck. And there are so many great stories that have happened in a truck. God knows a, a million country songs have been sung about it, which is, which is a great place to be. And then I like to say I'm a little bit older now and like I need a little bit more. I need a little couple upgrades. And this has modern heat and air conditioning. It has an upgraded digital sound system where you can stream your music to uh, 
uh, from your phone to here. Uh, it has satellite radio. This has a full custom dash in it with nice bright gauges for people who can't see anything, right? It has an 8,000 RPM tack and a gracious 160 mile an hour speedometer. I'm not suggesting that it will go that fast and I'm not suggesting you test it, but it's there if you wanted to find that out. And then just a beautiful, beautiful interior. Nicely done with sliding rear window. You could roll down the windows if you want. And this is still awesome. I love these uh, vent windows. They're still, I might even take up smoking just so I could use the vent windows. All right, so we close up the video with all these custom touches like big wheels and tires and upgraded brakes, upgraded suspension, body parts like the hood and grill, sliding rear window, diamond plate bed, all Rhino line. The underneath is all detailed. You would, you would spend two years building this truck and probably twice as much as what it's, uh, what it's selling for right now to get the same product. That's why these are so great, man. You let somebody else restore it, let them drive it for just a little bit, and you still end up with a wonderful, wonderful piece like this, right, for, for a lot less money. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll talk a little more about this piece of history, this piece of collector truck, and how great it could look in your garage. Don't forget to share, if you would, uh, the video with some friends. If you would, like it down there at the bottom of that button. Okay, and uh, subscribe to the channel and keep getting the feed from all these cool videos.